Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. Now this week, I'll be making an air cooler out of a five gallon bucket. Now when making this air cooler, I mean you can use any 5 gallon bucket. I just happen to have one from Tractor Supply Company. Now another item that you need is a styrofoam insert that goes into the bucket, which would actually turn the 5 gallon bucket into a cooler. Now I wanted the insert to sit a little bit higher, so using Gorilla Glue or Polyurethane Glue, I glued the top of the insert into the bottom of the bucket. And then using some more polyurethane glue, I actually glued the insert into the bucket. Now, you don't have to do this, especially if you want to remove the insert, but I didn't want to have to remove the insert. Now, a couple of things to remember when you're using Gorilla Glue or polyurethane glue. You need to wet the surfaces, and you also need to clamp it or put some weight on it to give some pressure to it that's so it really bonds well. Now for airflow, I'm going to put a fan on top of the bucket, but I need to cut a hole in the bucket top to do that. Now next is to drill some holes into the bucket for the exhaust. Now I'll be using two inch PVC pipe for the exhaust, and I'm cutting actually two and a half inch holes. Now to secure the PVC pipes into the holes, I'm using polyurethane glue again. The only issue with this is the way that this is, there's no way to clamp the pieces together. So it doesn't have the great hold that polyurethane glue will have, but it will still hold it pretty well. And there's all the exhaust pipes inserted. As you can tell, that polyurethane glue does foam up. Now, I did a couple of test runs, and the best results I had was with using a couple of large blocks of ice, and these particular ice blocks were made using quart Ziploc bags. Now, the thing is, you don't just use a block of ice, you also use cubes. So with a combination of the cubes and the blocks of ice, it actually worked pretty well. Now the fan that I had fit perfectly on there and I didn't have to secure it down. And I also found out that it works best on the medium speed. Well that's it, this air cooler is ready for action. Now even though I have the mini split in the shop, the roll up garage door is not insulated. And during the afternoon, the sun is hitting that door and creating a lot of heat. Now this is just to help the mini split in keeping the shop a little cooler. And also, it can be used anywhere where you can plug a fan in, like an RV or something like that. Well, I hope you got something out of this video, and if you did, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood. Or in this case, get cooled down.